Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Tsarov and this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising monthly tower reading for December 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again guys that this is just going to be a, a general reading for Gemini star signs and it is not your personal reading therefore in this video I will try my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but at the end it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now if you want me to do that for you, that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And until the end of December there is a Christmas sale going on which uh, simply abates the prices of the 20 and the 30 minutes uh, personal reading with me. And uh, one more thing, if you find these reports helpful and you want to know even more about your star sign, uh, you can do so by uh, obtaining the extended monthly tarot reading for just dollar 49 from our website again and there we are to <clears throat> take a look specifically on career and relationship for the star sign purchased so going to the uh, monthly general tarot spread here we do have a five card spread and the first card it's about the topic of you gemini throughout the month of december and that is the tree of pentacles so the tree, tree of pentacles is a typical card of building uh, and uh, it, it starts from the very foundations of uh, whatever you Geminis are after. It mo it's more associated with a, a preparation than a actual um, actual construction of certain undertaking or of a certain relationship. The Tree of Pentacles. It's a uh, a very amusing card because at that particular stage of uh, of your life of your business of your relationship you name it there is a an ocean of opportunities how you can proceed on forward with it uh, and as i said foundations i want to look at it uh, from that specific perspective <clears throat> let's say that you're trying to build up a house and now you're laying down the foundations of that house so uh, on a fly you can make a a certain uh, changes in your plan to expand whatever you're trying to build up. The Tree of Pentacles in that specific regard associates with consulting yourself with more experienced people than you are in, especially if we're talking about career-wise throughout the month. Also, it's associated with theme work, kind of inviting people to help you uh, in your midst of activities and as well it's a uh, associated with open conversations where you both parties especially if we're talking about relationships here are open toward one another to express their criticism so that cr this criticism can be worked over so it's kind of like clearing up the field in front of you of a uh, advancing an improvement of a certain events activities or things out there that could cause a an issues as you move on as soon as you start building up your estate the uh, second card points to the intentions or the best possible course of action and this is the six of pentacles so the six of pentacles it's associated with the hierarchy therefore you need to know exactly where you sit where, where your place is and you should not cross a certain boundaries also the six of pentacles need, um, is urging you to start the month in clear what i'm trying to say here is, is that if you do have any lingering uh, issues from the previous month that um, you can finalize you know you you can uh, settle down but you are still for some, for one or another reason, uh, it's neg uh, you are neglecting it to do it, it is very advisable to do it so because the less predicaments you do, uh, you, you kind of enter up with uh, in the month, 
the more easier for you to be to go with the flow because the six of pentacles is about also that going with the current going with the flow because if you try to go against the flow only thing that you are going to uh, accomplish it's constant struggle and sitting on one place also when we talk about the six of pentacles it is very important to know that uh, it is good to have a help on your side but that help that you may obtain throughout the month uh, it's not going to uh, completely resolve your issues i mean at the end your involvement will be required throughout the activity or the undertaking or the relationship so the predicament can be set aside the next card that we do have for you gemini's that is going to be the tree of swords which is causing the challenges uh, which is uh, expressing the challenges that are causing predicaments Tree of Swords could be interpreted in numerous ways in that specific follow-up, especially as these are a couple of word cards here, followed by a air card. So we see a severe jeopardizing of the foundations that you may build up, uh, because the Tree of Swords completely negates uh, the entirety of the previous cards if you lean toward it. So, with that specific sense, the Tree of Swords may represent a, a certain information that is going to come in your way, that it may have the potential to break you. And if you indulge yourself with that information and render yourself incapable to move on forward, you can completely kind of like ruin the foundation of, uh, you know, of whatever you're building. Just to give you an example here, uh, let's say that you are building up a, a, a business, you know, and a certain client gives you a, a very bad feedback um, and you are to find yourself devastated by that feedback, questioning, you know, can you even continue on doing what you have established as a, a business? And here is what we do have, it's that this is all about based on hierarchy, you know, you need to know your place. Sometimes you can, do, you can do just so much for those people. And let's face it, sometimes there are clients that no matter how well you perform, they will never be pleased. So it's important here to acknowledge the information, but in the same time to a kind of have an accurate uh, perspective upon it that sometime, somewhere along the line you are always going to face a, a mental cruelty as a criticism that is meant to actually break you down and you, sh and you should not kind of allow yourself to be succumbed by it. Tree of Swords also may represent being cornered, being uh, with a back against the wall. But in that specific case, if you are determined to push your things through and you're really unyielding about your goal moving on forward, then the Tree of Swords also may be uh, transformed or traversed into a, a very successful defense upon your current goal. So it could be that you are questioning um, how legitimate your goal and your perspective is either into your career and either into your relationship with a very strong arguments by the way that you are going to find very difficult to overcome but should you be unyielding, and unyielding enough about what you are after then uh, you are to find a way through how to overcome those uh, strong arguments and uh, the next card that we do have this is the guidance and uh, the guidance is seven of cups so seven of cups is a, a positive card as a guidance card it tells you that right now you need to dream big because whatever you are imagining that you are to be after the month of december or when that specific undertaking here either relationship part of relationship or a part of your job or you know uh, undertaking is uh, <clears throat> it can be uh, it can be developed you know what you are imagining yourself to be be, is it a seed growing or a fantasy it yet remains to be known therefore you should not drop it off lightly I mean you really need to fight for it if I might express myself that way one more thing about this card is pointing about a, a guidance is that 
the good things happen the hard way around so when you face a disappointment somewhere it is most likely the place where you need to keep on pushing because with the seven of cups this is uh, the seven of cups this is how the natural in improvement comes through that car you know you try something out it doesn't work out really the way you are imagining that is going to work you disappoint yourself from the result but in the same time you ground yourself you become with a more logical perspective upon um, <clears throat> upon the situation and this time uh, and next time you try it a little bit differently you know slightly differently where this time around it becomes a a major major success so it's kind of like a about uh, uh, it is a, a matter of repetitions here rather than a um, <clears throat> a matter of perfection so the perfection in the job that you are trying to do or with the relationship that you are trying to push forward it's all matter of repetitions rather than a matter of a one execution that is brought to its perfection the perfection will be reached through the repetitions of it and the next card that we do have this is the final outcome for you Gemini's that is the wheel of fortune and in that specific follow-up uh, the Wheel of Fortune here, as we do have the Seven of Cups next to it, it kind of diminishes and negates the negative effect of the Seven of Cups in a very severe way. As a matter of fact, I don't believe that this appointment here is going to happen uh, in a that big scale. Uh, you merely are going to notice it when we look at these Cup of Cards. And on top of that, uh, with the synergy of the Tree of Swords here, the predicaments, these couple of cards are telling us that the the more struggle you endure throughout the month, either into your career or either into your relationship, the huger, uh, the huge the breakthrough is to come at the end of the month here where the Wheel of Fortune is happening. And what exactly is to happen when the Wheel of Fortune manifests? Well, the, the Wheel of Fortune is a very broad card and it, it is kind of very relevant to the question or to the situation that you do have. In the grand scheme of things, the Wheel of Fortune is about a, a fortunate events that improve your circumstances, great portion of luck, and it's like um, you are offered even a once, once in a lifetime opportunity to achieve something great. So again, depends on your personal situation, that card is going to manifest itself in a different way. But as a follow-up of these cards, I would say that uh, <clears throat> you are to struggle here, as we see with the current, you know, facing some... Um, mental cruelty again recently i had a question what is mental cruelty and uh, this is a mental this is a, an example of mental cruelty you may criticize someone that has a, a bad breath by saying you know uh, your your mouth is smelling a little bit you know finicky and funny or you may straight up say to them your mouth is fetid and your mouth is fetid it is a, a mental cruelty it, it means it, this particular comment is meant to break the person so that is mental cruelty so <laughs> struggling through all that you know at the end the opening that you are to experience with the wheel of fortune most likely coming uh, coming out of nowhere is going to present you with a huge opportunity you know to prove everybody that doubting you and that's that opposed you place uh, that that placed your back against the wall uh, being rendered incapable and devastated and it's kind of like um, if I have to express it with a sentence you are going to be the last one who is going to laugh out of that situation so that being said Gemini's this was your monthly tarot reading for December 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and again this was just a general reading for Gemini star signs and it was not your personal reading therefore in this video I did my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but at the end it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation if you want me to do that for you well that will be a subject of a personal reading and again pers for personal readings please check out my website which is listed 
list it down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings and if you are to do so don't forget about the Christmas sale that is regards to the 20 and the 30 minutes live reading and it basically a, they are with abated prices so rat signing out now see you next time bye